dumb but is here to entertain you. So many fans and viewers were actually weeping and crying so much that Itandene's temple was taken so long to come back to the screens. But fortunately for each and every one of the viewers who really love the family reality show, especially those who are actually looking forward to become polygamous in their life, they are very much excited because it has been announced that Itandene's temple is set to return for its season 6. Of course, several things are about to be unveiled and Musa is super excited as well. But the return of Itandene's temple has brought a lot of controversial arguments on social media and several people don't as well want it to be aired back, saying it teaches very immoral and negative things to the South African people. More other reasons are going to be detailed out in today's video, so do well to watch this video right up to the end. Before detailing out the entire information, you are welcome to my YouTube YouTube channel. Kindly subscribe to this YouTube channel, like this video, drop a comment after watching the entire video and hit on to my post notification bell. Mzansi Magic's hit polygamous show, Itandene's Tembo is set to return for an impressive season 6 on Thursday the 6th of October at exactly 8 p.m. The show follows Muslim Seleko and his wives as they navigate polygamous marriage, parenthood, culture and keeping the family together through good and challenging times. Ever since the show premiered, Seleko and his wives have won the hearts of many viewers with their family dynamics and personal relationships. The family drama and fun moments always leave viewers on the edge of their seats. This season is also set to broadcast Musa and Tobilem Seleko's traditional ceremony. According to reports, the couple tied a knot in a private wedding ceremony two weeks ago. The lavish ceremony took place in Umzumbe and of course it was attended by so many close friends and family members. A source who spoke to Daily Sun said and I quote, I'll describe it as a top-notched wedding. We truly enjoyed ourselves with African drinks and food. They kept it under wraps because it wasn't just a wedding. But they were also filming the next season of Itandene's Temple, which is set to premiere before the end of this year, said the source. The last season of the show actually saw Musa, who had four wives already, still requesting permission from his wives to take another woman. On his hit reality show Itandene's Temple, Psalaku revealed that he wanted to have 20 kids, hence he needs another wife. He admitted that being wealthy has made life easier because he can take care of his family. The polygamist has been persuading his wife to give him the green light to take another wife, but he told Chisa Live that he needs to get their collective agreement and then fulfills his dreams. Because of all of this, Musa has been trolled and dragged on social media saying he is a bad influence to the youth. Given again to the fact that one of his very young boy children is already having a baby mama and a girlfriend, meaning the child wants to get married to two women already as young as he is without having a stable job already, that Musa is a negative influence to the people. And the child is already getting so much attention, that is just to say that so many youths want to become like him, thinking it is the best way of life. No one is condemning polygamous marriages, guys, but still, before getting into a polygamous marriage, you have to be well set, well packed, and all ready. Of course, your financial stance are really supposed to be okay because taking care just of one woman is already a problem. What more of two, three, four, and going to the extent of five to ten? That is so much already for one man to carry, meaning you need to be really financially stable. Of course, you put your wives in different house states. He said, and I quote, I have called a number of meetings, both as a collective and individually. I've expressed the feeling that I request to actually want to get married to a fifth wife, but the request has been rejected. My plan is to keep presenting the same thing in a different way or persuade up until I get a collective agreement in a sense that everyone is happy about it because I wouldn't want anyone to leave me because of that decision, he told the publication. According to him, 
if it was the old way, he would have just actually told them. But because he is doing it in the modern way, he needs their permission first before he actually goes ahead and gets married to a fifth wife. That is so beautiful to actually hear. Seleko failed to fulfill Manuela's ultimatum before their 20th wedding anniversary to marry a fifth wife, so he really can't get married to a fifth wife no more. The couple celebrated their 20th anniversary and Seleko gushed over his wife on a Facebook post. Full 20 years anniversary, Selena quotes, I never thought but God has been good. Giabonga, my lovely grandmother and my beautiful mother Joyce for guiding her so beautifully. You all tell me what you think about all what is going on. Are you excited that your tenderness temple is coming back? Love you all.